Yo, we are the Crane Couple, and we're back with a triple Japan Crate unboxing feature. Yee. That's right. We've got not one, not two, but three Japan Crates this month. Yes, and they're all very Halloween spooky. Very spooky goodies inside. Yeah, so if you're wondering, Japan Crate, Japan Crate is a monthly subscription box with lots of Japanese culture related things. Snacks, yep. treats. Good stuff. Tasty things. The Doki Doki <laughs> crate right here is uh, cute stuff. And we've also got our Omai oh crate. Yes, the Omai oh crate. It's the first time we've opened one. Yes. Is uh, noodles. Noodle soups. Noodles. Ramen, udon, you name it. But uh, before we start off, we would like to once again thank Japan Crate for providing us with these boxes for us to review in an honest and fair manner. So thank you guys very much for that. We've also got an affiliate link in case you want to pick up your own Japan Crate. Go ahead and check that out in our video description. And we also have a code. So you take a few bucks off your order, all right? Yeah. So with all that out of the way, Brittany, I think because it's Halloween month, we should start with a Doki Doki Crate. Yay! Mm. <laughs> Brittany, would you do us the honors of opening up the October Doki Doki Crate. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's All very right. cute. Oh, it's super cute. Da, 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 da. Nice. Well, Brittany, I can definitely say it's Halloween themed. It's so cute. Something <laughs> about it is very Halloween themed here, yes. But uh, once again, the Doki Doki Crate is a lot of like kawaii lifestyle kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. So if you're into plush and other cutesy things, this is definitely the crate for you. It is. And uh, this one, if you guys couldn't tell by her squeals right here, <laughs> Brittany's a big fan of Halloween. Yes. Oh yeah. So what's first? Oh, uh, we will go with this. What is that? It's cute little kitty Halloween themed masking tape. Okay, so Halloween stuff and then cat stuff in one package. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Cats in like little masks and other outfits and stuff. Oh, there's Donna. Oh. Can we get a little mask for our cats? It'd be Aww. weird if we put like a hat on a cat. I don't think they'd like it. Can we try anyway? <laughs> Adorable. Yeah. Hmm. I love it already. Well, we can definitely get some good use out of that because we love to send out stuff on our live stream giveaways. Yeah. <gasps> oh, so that's we can true. definitely use some of that. But I, I don't know if anybody out there is the same way, but when it's something cute like this, like stickers or cute like themed tape, I never want to use it. I always feel like it's like, there's, there's something important that needs to go on. So if I use it for some things, then I don't have it for anything else. I mean, this is true. I've got some stuff on my desk that's still in the wrap because <laughs> yeah. it's too cute to mess right? with, guys. What do we got next, Brittany? We got this big boy right here. Oh. Oh, he's so cute. For the dog lovers it's out Papa. there. Papa. In a Halloween outfit. Yeah. With a cute little hat and everything. Oh, I wonder if Papa would wear an outfit like this. Well, we don't have Papa right here no. to mess with, but maybe we can try. Hmm. Maybe I have to make a little family visit. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, there's a very cute wait, plush wait. stuff. He's Good chonky size. too. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised it actually fit in that box. It's not the largest package around, no. but they definitely make good use of the space. Cute. <laughs> Another item, Brittany? We're gonna go with this one. Ooh, another big one here. Yeah. Maybe. That looks crinkly. Oh, that looks like a Sanrio bowl. Yeah, it's a cute bowl. Heart shaped and everything. Yeah. And I think that is Kuromi. Yeah. Yeah, the one in the black. Kuromi. And then we got My Melody there on mm -hmm. the right. Very cute. They got like little chips that are shaped like them. On oh, the and it just says chips. It's got tacos on there too. <laughs> what is that? Tacos? I'm so confused. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like Dia de los Muertos kind uh, of. Yeah, because it's got like the little decorations. And oh, yeah, stuff. it says they Ola got... right in the middle. So yeah, it has <laughs> that makes little sense. like sugar skulls and stuff too. That is adorable, guys. Oh, yeah. They definitely put some nice stuff in here. Ice cream bowl. I just like the actually like a bowl. This is something you can use all the time. Ice cream? Ice cream? <gasps> We do have noodles. This actually goes with the bowl. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. It's a kuromi uh, spoon. Yes, a big, a big spoon. spoon. Oh. I'll say from our like trips to Japan, normally in the su souvenir shops, the spoons are like maybe a, a quarter of the size. Yeah, it actually shows, it's in Japanese, so I can't really read what it says, but 
it's like comparing like a normal spoon. So this spoon's larger and it's also deeper than a oh, normal yeah. spoon. When you real hungry. It's got a little like curve at the end. Yeah, so that way hook. it doesn't like slide around on the bowl. I'm gonna try anyway. All right. Kind of. Oh, there's, <laughs> there, yeah, there you Yay. go. Yeah, you can actually see that. Hooray for working autofocus. <laughs> yeah, so you can see up here, a little hook right there. It's pretty thick. It's huge. <laughs> it's a big spoon, huh? Huh. Very nice. Yeah. Anything else in the Doki Doki crate, Brittany? Ah, uh, there is one more item. Oh, we kind of went through this fast, huh? I know. It may be last, but certainly not least. Hmm. It looks very funny. What that? They're ghost sponges. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I guess you need something to clean your bowl with. It's so cute. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I was trying to like link all the stuff oh together, right? Oh my gosh. Right? I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I'm gonna assume. Wow! Is that gonna fall under the the case of uh, too cute to actually use? They're pretty there, cute. There's nine of them though, so like you can use a few. You could sacrifice a few ghosts for the cause. Yeah, or if you didn't want to use them too, you could actually technically use them for uh, Halloween decorations. You could probably oh. needle and thread thread through the sponges and you can make cute like ghost garlands. That's true. DIY Doki Doki Crate. We should do DIY craft videos now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. A little random. It didn't. It didn't like really click for me at first. But yeah. I'm gonna assume it goes with that. But I like that everything's kind of together. A mm. little bit, huh? Yeah. Plus they're super cute. I mean. I mean that's mainly it for me. If it's cute, I'll take it. Yeah. Well, that was it for the Doki Doki crate. What's next, Brittany? It's time for some snacks. I am getting kind of hungry. We always film this stuff really late at night. Ooh, very cute packaging. Ooh. I like the purple color. I do. I'm not gonna lie, it's very purple and very, very nice. Yes. Accents you nicely, Brittany. No, thanks. Mm. So of course, we have the little uh, October pamphlet. It's your guide to all the tasty things inside, which is yes, great because- Yes, you will need it. Again, lots of Japanese writing. So uh, this is the premium. So yes. There's a few different sizes depending on how much of an appetite you have. Where do we begin, Renee? This one. Oh, yes, that's a good choice. Yes. It's a uh, Pika. 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 It's a uh, Pokemon Halloween party pack chocolate. Pika Pika. Chocolate, yes. Yes. Halloween edition cho chocolate puff snacks shaped like mini Pikachus. Fun and tasty as is mixed with milk or sprinkled on desserts. Gotta eat them all. Oh, so you can have like cereal mixed with milk? Sure. I think of like Cocoa Puffs or something. Kinda. I guess I'll have to open it up and take a look. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty good actually. Like, like rice cereal puffs with chocolate coating? They do kind of look, look like out. rice cereal puffs. How adorable. Eh. Oh, I gotta, there, don't look at me. Look at this. <laughs> there we go. Right there. Little Pika. How does it taste? Mmm. She picked this one for a reason, guys. That is good. Uh, it reminds me more of um, cocoa pebbles. So it's like very light chocolate. I was gonna say it's Japanese stuff, so it's gonna be a little yeah, lighter chocolate. Yeah, it's light chocolate, but mm -hmm. for me, I still taste chocolate, oh, which is great. <laughs> that's great. Brittany likes it a little more rich and intense. Yeah. Good. Very good start and right there. And your Pokemon theme. This is the best. <laughs> I don't need anything else from the crate. I feel bad for the rest of the crate. I know. It has to get compared <laughs> to that. <laughs> What's next, Brittany? Um, we got these guys. Those look vaguely familiar, but not quite. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, well it's Meiji brand, so. Strawberry cheesecake? Shortcake. Shortcake. Mm. Shortcake. Well, you actually got it right. It's Takenoko no Sato Strawberry Shortcake. It means bamboo shoot village. So each chocolate biscuit is a baby bamboo shoot, except way tastier because of strawberry shortcake flavor. Packaging's always on point. Look at this, look how cool this is. Uh oh. Oh no, they got a little smushed <laughs> they up. They got a little smushed. I came a long way. These all ship directly from Japan. Yeah. So, oh. They're in clusters. <laughs> well, at least you can uh, triple up on your flavor right there. I know. Cute. Yeah, they look like funny little like pink nubs. They kind of remind me of like pine cones. Ah, uh, yes, but probably a lot tastier than pine cones. Yeah. Not that I've ever eaten a pine cone. You want one? Sure. Smooth. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. The bottom's like a cookie. Oh. Yeah, it's like fun. a shortbread cookie. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Very tasty. If you like strawberry, I'm gonna eat it. Eat, eat it. it. Eat it. We have a lot more stuff to try. Okay, Brittany. fine. Another snack, Brittany. Yes. Hmm. What looks good? Mm, this one. Oh no! Don't tell me it's a soda. I think it's a soda. Okay, you can try that one. I didn't have some, <laughs> such good luck last month. Hey, did I win? Hey. Nope. How's it? Dang it! Not a winner. Oh, it's like a giant hard candy. That's way bigger than I thought it would be. It's like the <laughs> tiny little like wrapper. Yeah, so it's like a hard candy and it looks like it might have some soft inside part. Donguri gum. Two for one. Soda flavored hard candy that doubles as gum. Then when you're ready to switch it up, aim for the center for some fun. Ha ha! There you go. Looks good. This tastes good. Really? Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh. It's like super sweet. It doesn't taste really like soda to me. Like like a hint of like a ramune. It's pretty tasty. It tastes like bazooka, bazooka gum. bubble gum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's I think that's the closest taste that would be to this. I would say so. It's oh, yeah. pretty close to that. Hmm. I'm gonna have some more later. Well, in case you're ever missing the flavor of bazooka gum, try Donguri gum. Anything else, Brittany? Hmm. hmm. We have plenty more. A lot of choices. Let's go with this guy. It's just a, it's like chocolate bat. Actually, yes, it does. I didn't cheat. <laughs> my, I used my very limited Japanese <laughs> skills. It's Halloween chocolate bat. Swing batter swing. Swing this chocolate coated snack right into your mouth for a sweet and satisfying home run. I did not think of that bat. I was thinking of like actual bats. They got us there. Wow. Man. It's a long chocolate stick. Yeah, it looks I like was, a... I really thought it was gonna be like something bat related. Like no. animal bat. No, it's soft. It's like not like spongy enough. Cause like if you like go to press on it, it'll actually crumble in your hands, but it's not crunchy. It's actually like soft. I mm. thought it was gonna be a wafer and I was like, that's what I thought too. It. It's even softer than what I was expecting. You prepared <laughs> me. I'm sorry for talking with my mouth full, but that's how shocking it was. I'm pretty and good. the chocolate's good too. Mm. Mm. It's not bad. I don't really know how to describe that. Surprising, but pretty tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Like a harder cake. Next up, Pocky. Pocky. Halloween Pocky. Each pack is decorated with a Halloween design. Kick back and relax with your snack break with a classic Japanese snack. Yeah, we got bats. I'm fine with that. They're super cute. And not the bats like the last Not bat. that bat. <laughs> I just pictured a bunch of baseball bats trying to fly around. I broke it, but it's not chocolate. Oh, it's, it's strawberry. They're all stuck together, but. It's okay. Looks like strawberry Pocky to me. It tastes like strawberry Pocky. Hmm. If you're watching this, you know what Pocky is, right? You don't really need to. If you don't, you need to get some. Another snack, Brittany. Hmm. Some candy, something sweet, something savory. That is very small. It says strawberry on it. I can read it. Woo! <laughs> strawberry soft, almost too cute to eat. It's a sweet marshmallow type treat flavored like strawberry shortcake. Oh. It's very cute. It it's is. It's extremely tiny. It looks like a little ice cream like wafer cup. <laughs> Definitely marshmallow right there. What's that? Is there? It looks like there's filling in there. There's strawberry inside. Oh yeah. yeah. There's a little bit of like a strawberry gummy jelly. That works That's for not me. super strawberry then. Yeah, the it's flavor like barely. is like... It's more just like straight up sweet. Very much so, I think, because of the marshmallow. Yeah. It's okay. It's not my favorite, no. but it's okay. That's all right, but I do love me a wafer cone. This is uh, true. I love me some ice cream cones, so... It does feel basically like a regular ice cream cone. Yes, that's, <laughs> I think that's actually the same material. Hmm. Still a lot of treats to go through, Brittany. Is this, oh, no. is this the same thing we got from the last one or very similar? It's a grape soda gummy. Oh. And chew on this tasty gummy dusted in extra flavor crystals for a Halloween night boost. Flavor crystals. Well, I'll tell you, I feel like a broken record here. But I wasn't the biggest fan of the soda gummy from last month's box, so. It doesn't smell that good. Really? I mean, it does smell like grape, but. Yeah, but it's it still smells kinda, like. Um. It's kind of stuck. It's kind of stuck. I will say, I love the flavor crystals. Good. All right. Because it's just sugar. <laughs> lots and lots of sweet. All right. Well, that's good, Brittany. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, yeah. I don't care for the grape flavor. It's not a good grape flavor. Really? Yeah. There's oh. like some grape flavors that are good and then some that's like, because I can barely taste the soda, but I think the grape is what's like, no. This doesn't. I'm good. Doesn't do it for you. Yeah. That's okay. Another treat. Oh, that one's cute. It's a small boy. Oh, it's got a little, uh. Halloween dude on there. Halloween Pedo Pedo Con Peito. In Japanese, Pedo Pedo 
is the onomatopoeia for lick. Konpeito is a traditional Japanese sweet of star-shaped sugar candy that's often given as a gift. Oh! Oh, we got this in the last one, but it's like Halloween themed. Yeah, it's like this cool, like deep purple. Yeah. It's like the really star candy. So really it's just intense. it's basically just sugar. Yes. It's really and good. And he's got a cool pumpkin guy in there. He's like, eh. I'll take a... Let's take a little bit. A little more. And Maybe one a little more. more. And one more. And uh -huh. one more. Ooh, piece of candy. Hmm. Piece of candy. They're super cute. Mm. They remind me of like the gobstoppers that you see in the old school uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yes. Just sugar. Oh yeah. You can't go wrong with just sugar. Honestly, can't. I mean, that's why, that's why they give them out as souvenirs yeah. and stuff, right? What's next, Brittany? What are you feeling? This little guy. It's very little. He's round. He's very round. It says cola ball. I was going to say that's what it says right here. Oh, on the does guy. it? <laughs> cola ball. Did you know Japan loves candy? There's a variety of jelly candies, desserts, and drinks. Try it out for yourself with this bite of cola flavored jelly. <laughs> so funny. I like that they even took the time to put the little baseball stitches on there. Yeah. It's cute. It tastes like flat soda. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. I well, like it. Mm. I think I think the idea is sound. Like I've had a lot of jelly candy, <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't really want jelly candy after you jiggled that. Drink. <laughs> Another one to pick out, Brittany. Oh, that guy's super tiny. It's Sumiko Garashi. I'm gonna guess that's gum. Sumiko Garashi gum. Trick or treat at the home of the Sumiko Garashi cuties. They're giving you this yogurt flavored gum for Halloween. Not what I expected. Yogurt. Did I win? I thought he... You did it! I won! But I can't read the rest of the Japanese. What do I win? A, a brand new car! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's actually... Well, if we were in Japan, you'd actually be able to get one of the same gum that you got. The same candy. Yeah, Yeah, so you'd get, a, you'd get another one. How funny! You actually, actually won. won! Now, we just have to go to Japan and redeem well, this. Japan trip part four. Sold. <laughs> Putting the little uh, Kuji aside, you did get a cute little gum. Two lumps of gum. I like that they do that. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty common to see that Boop. traditional style. That's not what I expected. <laughs> That's different. Oh, well, I like it. I didn't grow up with yogurt flavored candy, guys, so. It tastes like yogurt. Like, it actually tastes like plain yogurt. You can smell and taste like the bazooka style bubble gum. Yes. And I like that. But then you taste the yogurt with it and it's mixed together and it makes me angry because I want to <laughs> taste the normal bubble gum taste. <laughs> angry? What? You don't think yogurt when you think you're chewing gum. Not really. No. That's very different. That's probably one of the most unique flavors we've gotten in a snack. Yeah, that hmm. is cool. But not it's bad. not bad. It's not bad. After you start chewing it a lot more too, hmm. it kind of calms down. That was an interesting one, Brittany. Yes. Mm. But what's next? This cute box right here. Well, if we're going by presentation alone, this is definitely up near the top. Oh, I mean, it is Disney. It's very Disney themed. <laughs> Halloween Disney character chocolate. Mickey and friends finished trick-or-treating and they're sharing their chocolate loot with you. Wow, how generous. Enjoy this Halloween Disney character milk chocolate. It's super cute. It's too cute. Ugh, I gotta open it. It's chocolate. Can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> you have no nails now. <laughs> oh my god, this is worse than gotcha pun. <laughs> you must oh, see. Oh, cute. There's multiple packs. Oh, I love that I just grabbed like three <laughs> different colors. Maybe a little messed up in transit. Oh no. Uh, it's a little. One chocolate per pack. Oh. Okay. I it's thought like it might point. have been like. It got a little melty. Oh. I don't even. Oh, I think it's Donald. I see his bill. Oh, well, well we tried. You can't really. He got stuck in customs for a little it while. <laughs> I will say. That's actually pretty okay. It melts in your mouth really fast. Yeah. You kind of bite down and it kind of just goes. Whew. Yeah, I bit once and it feels like it's like flooding my mouth with chocolate. Yeah, it kind of like almost disintegrates and it's like chocolate everywhere. That's pretty good. It tastes a lot better than it smelled. And another one. It's a monster. Fruits monster, actually. It's got English on wow. there. Wow. It looks very familiar. Yeah. That looks a lot like some uh, sour like belt candy that we have stateside. Not all monsters are scary. This one has a fruity rainbow candy to share with you. Buy into this soft gummy when you have a monstrous craving 
for something sweet. How cute. One, two, three, four, five, ten strips. Wow. Good deal. Ooh, I can smell the soury sweetness on oh, them. Oh, yeah. I might smell sour, but super sweet. Yeah, it's very it's, sweet. It's very light. If you like the sour belts that you see everywhere, nowhere near this. This yeah. is like super duper tame. I was going to say, like, it doesn't really come off as sour at all. No. That's pretty good. Yeah, mm. that's pretty good. I like yeah. this because I don't like super sour, like, ah, oh, ah. <laughs> like, I know it's kind of cliche, but, you know, it is the Halloween crate, right? So I feel like there's a lot of tricks and there's a lot of treats on here. Yeah. And sometimes <laughs> they trick you, but it's still kind of a treat. Yeah. Oh, we got a lot of the bigger stuff left, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Caramel corn. Caramel corn. I can rate it. It's a little different. Oh. Japanese chestnut Mont Blanc caramel corn. What? Why is it so fancy? Yes. A popular Japanese snack known for its sweet, airy crispness. This special seasonal flavor is Mont Blanc with Japanese chestnut. The perfect autumn snack, since chestnuts aren't one of Japan's most popular fall treats. Oh. Could be good. So not pumpkin. No. That's okay. Pumpkin's, <laughs> that's fine with me. Pumpkin's the U.S. thing, you know? Wow, that is... It's, it's, it's full so all the way weird. up here. There's barely any air. That looks good, though. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. I can get behind this. I'm not normally a fan of caramel corn. But yeah. I've, I've had their normal flavored stuff, and it's actually, it's pretty good. I feel like this is milder. I was about to yeah. say, it's very light caramel corn, yes. which I'm totally okay with, because sometimes I feel like caramel corn can be very harsh. This is true. Very harsh and very sweet, like cloyingly sweet, but this yeah. is not. This is mm. really good. Oh, man. This is a good snack. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad it's not very empty, right? Yum. <laughs> well, it's going to be tough to follow up that one, huh, Brittany? I know. Mmm. Well. We do have this guy. He looks terrified. <laughs> it looks what? very scary Halloween. It might be the most Halloween item in here. What is this? I don't know. He's crying. Um, Dengeki Hunter Soft Candy. And what may be one of our most unique DIY kits, hunt down an eel, cut him up, and pour the sauce on top to make your very own confectionery unagi. Just the right amount of macabre and fun for Halloween. We're gonna cut up an eel? I mean, you see the bottom of the package. Yeah. That's kind of messed up, honestly. <laughs> I mean, it's funny. It's a kid's candy. But I mean... That's a kid's candy! It's a kid's candy! I mean, it's just... I mean, it's kind of cute looking. It is very cute. It looks a little messy, though, so yeah, we might have to try messy. this uh, off camera. Yeah. Because uh, I don't really have a good place to set all that up and share it with you guys. But we're sure it's quite tasty. Yeah. Looks like he's got a little fun inside. Yeah, he's got a little pink inside. Uh, yeah. Only a few things left here, Brittany. Yep. What do you want to try next? Big bag right here. It was upside down. That's upside down. <laughs> I definitely recognize the branding right here. That is Chocoball. Chocoball! Mm -hmm. Peanut Chocoball Halloween pack. Can't have Halloween without these classic Japanese chocolates. These milk chocolate covered crunchy peanuts are one of those treats you just can't stop munching on. Choco balls are a treat loved by all ages, so share them. That is, if you can contain your taste buds. <laughs> I have to say, I love this packaging because it's like a triangle. A little pyramid, right? Yeah. It's adorable. It's one big choco ball. Oh, it's a choco cluster. Oh, yeah. It is. I haven't actually had like a normal choco ball before. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, it's a good time to try it. I'm going to bite it in half so you can see the peanut, but... Oops. <laughs> you I got the, the whole peanut. It's tasty, right? Yeah. It's classic. It's like just, amount, just the right amount of sweet. The little, like, crunch texture means that you don't really get tired of it too quickly. But it's not super crunch. Yeah. I like it very much. Those are good. Mm. Only a couple treats Ooh. left. Mmm. Now that looks very familiar. Yay! That looks... Now this is Umaibo. Uh, not the Umaibo? Have you ever wanted to try not the No! <laughs> a unique Japanese food that people either love or hate. Here's your chance to try it with this not the flavored Umaibo. So which side are you on? I'm on Noto. <laughs> well, I mean... I threw it. It just smells it just like... It smells like... Kind of funny. Mm. It's kind of pungent. <laughs> it just... No. It. Here you go. Oh, thanks. 
you get crumbles. Th thank you for the crumbs, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying this together. Three, two, one. It's kind of weird, but it's not terrible. It almost reminds me of like sour cream and onion chips. Yeah, I think that's like the... It's like super pungent sour cream and onion chips. Is that maybe just like the underlying flavor of the umaibo coming maybe. through? Because it's like, you know... It's the I got a really weird aftertaste though, and I don't like that. Honestly though, I will have that all day versus actual natto. I would rather not have it all day. Well, if you had to choose. If it's like, if, if your life counted on it, maybe the more you have it, the less you like it. Oh. Yeah. At least on that bite, I had a little more of like the natto flavor, but there's still a lot of like what seriously tastes like sour cream and onion flavored chips yeah. mixed in, mm -hmm. which is throwing it off. I still I don't think I really like it, but uh, no. still better than actual natto. That's a trick right there. Well, the final snack of this box is... Ta-da! Kit Kats. Yep. Can't go wrong with Japanese Kit Kats, nope. right? That is Apple Pie Kit Kat. Halloween break? Yeah, it says Halloween, it says Halloween break here too. Huh. Oh, yeah. So it's got um, the little wrappers and stuff are individualized for Halloween too. So. Thank. Thank. I thank. want the one that says thank. Yes. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me the no. Oh, my God. These are great. No. <laughs> thank. <laughs> That's fabulous. No, wait, here's a better one. I. No. Thank. <laughs> it's terrible. <gasps> Can we have Kit Kats to say that? <laughs> it actually says like on there <sighs> and it has a thumbs up. Hey, just a reminder, everybody. Hit like that thumbs video. up button. Yeah. Hit that Kit Kat button right there. Kit Kat told you so. Well, the story goes that the ghost turned the chocolate purple for Halloween. Oh. They also made these delicious apple pie Kit Kats, the perfect balance of sweet and sour. They're a little melty. A little melty. They actually do smell a little sour. It's yeah. like a light purple, like, like a lavender. They're extra mini. Wow, that actually tastes like apple pie. Oh. That is like, like seriously like apple pie flavored right there. Now, my thing, I immediately tasted sour. It was like, sour mm. and then i chewed and then while you were getting apple pie it like slowly created an apple pie in my mouth japanese Kit legit Kats. very good weird i mean it's kind of unfair to compare the other treats in the box to something like this because by and large these japanese like special Kit Kats are very tasty it just turned an apple pie in my mouth <laughs> so while that Kit Kat was the last candy in the box there's actually a drink because we've got the big old premium box we've got a lipton milk caramel tea yeah halloween it's got a cute and everything little guy on here yeah. or girl sorry no there is a guy trick-or-treater there's one guy and there's one girl i was wondering because i saw the front that had the guy i was like Ooh, what refresh yourself with this limited edition lipton caramel milk tea after a long night of trick-or-treating and halloween festivities each bottle features famous collaboration artwork. Oh. Cute! Well, that's why it's extra cute. There yeah. you go. Hmm. Do you like milk tea, Brittany? No. We're gonna have it anyway. Though. Yeah. It's definitely milk tea. First yeah, and it foremost. smells like milk tea. I don't really taste the caramel. Oh, maybe it was it like the, the sip tea. I had. I still don't really taste milk tea with maybe like a hint of something else, hmm. but maybe it's I don't really for taste me. caramel. Hmm. I mean, I do. A little a little hint of it. It's not super, super yeah. strong, but it's still milk tea first and foremost. Yes. But it's pretty good. It's not bad. I was really hoping that it'd be a little bit more caramel in there, though. <laughs> I mean, because... it looks really good. You'd add a little candy in there oh, and just no. let it melt. It's like somebody put, like, a little dollop of caramel in there or something. A, a little sweetener. Yeah. It's nothing, like, super strong, but uh, at least for me, I tasted it initially, but... It's pretty tasty overall. I mean, if you're a milk tea person, you're not yeah. going to complain. No, you'll like it. And if you're not a milk tea person, it's probably not going to change your mind. And last, but certainly not least, we've got our first ever Umai Crate. Yeah! Yes. Uh, umai Crate is one of the newer food crates from Japan Crate, and it's dedicated to soups. Yes. Noodle soups. I know, Brittany, you're a big fan of ramen. Yep, so. you are too. Yeah, I kind of got you addicted to that <laughs> stuff. Unfortunately, 
it's a pretty big video right here, so you don't really have time to cook up all these noodles and try them out for you. But if you'd like to see us actually cook them up and try them in a future video or maybe a stream, let us know in the comment section Ooh, below, all right? That'd be fun. I think that would be nice. Yeah. Nice relaxing stream or something, huh? Bye. Oh yeah. Look at this. You also get a little recipe. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So it shows you how to prepare all the stuff right here too. Yeah. That's good. All these packages uh, appear to be in Japanese. So there's a lot in this box, Brittany. Noodles. Yeah, it <laughs> looks, looks like dry noodles. All right. That's pretty easy. It's a uh, Sanuki Udon. It's a oh, famous yeah. type of udon from Kagawa Prefecture. Recommended to serve cold and slurped on a hot day. It will make up to three servings. Try it with shichimi pepper, seaweed, or this month's udon soup. Mmm. Directions and everything. Just boil some water, add the noodles, and cook them for six uh, minutes. And then drain them yeah. and mix with your favorite broth. Yeah, so this isn't like a soup mix. It's literally just the noodles, and you can add whatever soup you want to right it. you can have some sauce too like a dipping sauce yeah that's Fun. cool yeah i'd love to try that sometime i'm gonna make some noodles all right what's next Brittany? this looks like a noodle packet oh that looks like it comes with a lot more than just a noodle yeah that is miso ramen serve mm. on these hot noodles that feature a fragrant miso flavor and particularly warm and savory notes yum made with natural ingredients and the noodles of 100 percent domestic flour try it with corn sauteed spinach braised pork mm. ramen not bad a lot of them are basically uh well this one just boil some water and then add them to the noodles in a bowl and all of that yeah. and leave it covered for a few minutes ah. so don't try to microwave these guys you no. gotta actually boil some some water all right you better be good to your noodles don't be lazy all right yeah huh. i want to try these ones ever had a miso ramen before i think you normally have like shoyu i have shoyu and then tonkotsu yeah mm. It's all, all very good. I still want to try it. I mean, if it's ramen, I'll have it. Want to pull out something else, Brittany? This one. Ooh. Yeah. It's a Daishi Zen ramen. Sesame and soy sauce are key ingredients in many Japanese dishes. This ramen dish is a balanced flavor profile of these cooking staples. A bowl of noodles that will surely satisfy your tummy. Try it with sesame seeds, bamboo shoots, or a hard, hard boiled egg. Nice. Sounds pretty tasty. Yeah. Real simple. Again, just boil some water and then uh, cook the noodles for a few minutes and then separate them for the water. Serve with the uh, soup packet and all that. Yeah, these that have way. the soup packets. <clears throat> nice. Easy. I like those. What is next up, Brittany? So many. Uh, this one. Ooh. Oh. Fun it's light. a bowl. Oh, is that like a super instant one? Yeah. The red one, right? Umikado Gomoku Vegetable Soy Sauce Ramen. Enjoy your veggies with this tasty bowl of vegetable ramen. The noodles soak up a soy sauce based broth and mix well with any leftover vegetables you have to add. Oh. You can try it with corn, shiitake mushrooms, and this month's spicy curry powder. Well, spoilers. Spoilers! There's a curry powder in here too. To cook it, you just uh, open the lid halfway, add in the seasoning, and then add in some boiling water. Let it uh, sit for a few minutes. Boom! You got your noodles. That's cool. Easy. I've got plenty more noodles to go, Brittany. Yes. Hmm, what Let's is next? Grab this other bowl. That is green. It's very it's green. Very green. <laughs> cold tanuki soba. Oh, cold. Uh, tanuki soba is a traditional Japanese style meal. The soup is a flavorful mixture of kelp and shiitake mushroom. Slurp on these noodles when you're craving a rich umami flavor. Try it with shichimi pepper, onion, shrimp tempura. Sounds nice. That's fun. Ah. I also want to point out there's like letters on the top of this one. So like it must be like steps. A, you open this part and then B goes to the size and then C is all the way in the back. That's so weird. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you on the directions, it just says peel the cover halfway, remove the packets, add hot water, in all the, that. In the Japanese directions, it actually has A and C and all that. Interesting. I mean, it is meant to be like eaten cold. So you're gonna need to cook the noodles with hot water. Then you have to drain them out and then add in the cold water yeah. and stuff. So that way, you know, you don't wanna mess it up. I mean, I don't really eat a whole lot of cold noodles, but uh, it sounds nice. Interesting. I don't know how you feel about cold noodles. I like my noodles hot. I kind of prefer it hot too, but I can see the appeal, especially depending on the weather. Next up, we have... Oh, that must be the curry powder. Yeah, that definitely looks like curry oh, powder. Look at the little chilies on there. Yeah, hot, hot, hot. 
It's spicy curry pow powder. It's uh, get fiery with your cooking. This blended spice of curry and habanero packs a flavorful kick. Can you handle the fire? Add this to change things up. How does it smell? Ooh, that smells like curry. It is curry powder. I know. They ain't but messing like, around. I was waiting for it to smell like super spicy. Mm, that smells so good. Can I just have it? I just want curry I'll now. Stick my finger in there. Ah. <laughs> We're gonna taste test something out of here, right? Yeah, you want to try it? Uh, I'll just dab a little bit on the other side right here. A little dab right there. Ah! Oh, that's spicy. Mmm. That's the spicy. You ain't supposed to have it straight like that, Brittany. <gasps> <laughs> oh no. I don't like it anymore. Maybe you like it more when you mix it with some like fried rice or something, which happens to be one of the suggested servings. Noodles, vegetables, fried rice, whatever. Add to your liking. <laughs> Do you need something to drink? I need to grab some water. Okay, we'll be right back. Well, I think Brittany has somewhat recovered from her tasting of the curry powder. Sure. Just habaneros, chili, like, curry powder. No problem. Yeah. No problem at all. <sighs> next. What's next? <laughs> this box. Oh, that's cute. Uh, that doesn't really... Oh, it is noodle. It's a udon. Kapo white udon soup. Smooth soup stock with classic umami flavor that's ready in no time. This versatile udon soup can be used for a variety of Japanese cooking. Experiment with its six packets. Try it with udon, fried rice, Japanese style risotto. Yeah, so you can just, you know, it's um... Oh, that's why there's a six right here. Yeah, so it's just packets. the actual broth. So you oh, can use that so with... with the noodles! Yeah! It makes a lot more sense now, right guys? Yeah. You also have it with this, this little curry powder right here. It's still burning. Even the roof of my mouth is burning. It's okay, we're almost done. <laughs> Only a couple more things left in here, I yeah, think. Yeah, this guy. Ooh, oh, that's a big one. Looks like yakisoba. Uh, it certainly does, huh? You are correct. Ha-ha! Kameda kakinotane wasabi yakisoba. Wasabi? A tasty two-in-one collab. Kakinotane, in wasabi flavor, is a famous salty and spicy Japanese snack. These hearty yakisoba noodles are tossed in soy sauce, bonito, and kelp flavor and topped with wasabi puffs. This collaboration is the ultimate comfort food. I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, it looks nice. I the, like yakisoba. The noodles look good. Yeah, it's yakisoba. Can't yeah. go, go wrong with that, unless you don't really like spicy, like you. <laughs> hey, if you're into like spicy, and especially if you like wasabi, I'm sure it's very tasty. Oh yeah. I want to open that one up on the stream. You go right ahead. All right, I'm gonna do it <laughs> next time. The last item in the box, Brittany. It is... Soup? Is it a soup? It's something. That looks like soup. It does look like miso soup. Uh, it looks very much like miso soup. Natto miso soup. Have you ever wanted to try natto? Now's your no. chance to try it as a delicious, rich miso soup. It features crushed natto and a warming umami flavor that will leave you wanting more. Try it with a side of rice, tofu, sliced green onions. Why would you ruin miso soup? I mean, it's the Halloween month craze. No! So. Why? I mean, you got this, you got the wasabi yakisoba, you got the habanero uh, curry powder. Oh, I know all about that habanero it's, curry powder. It's all come together. That is fun. You definitely get a lot of different soups in here. You get a lot! I thought it was just gonna be ramen. I mean, ramen is like the go-to noodle soup when people think of Japan. There are a lot of different noodles and even just straight up noodles. Yeah, I like that. And then some straight up broth yeah. too, which is pretty cool so you can kind of figure you it out. Mix and match. Yeah, that's really neat, huh? I like that. I think I'm still very much a ramen person. I'm not so big on udon, although I'm willing to give the udon soups a oh, shot. Oh yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm I totally willing to have some. Uh, the wasabi yakisoba though, sounds very interesting. Um, I think I'm a pass on that one. I'll try some of this out sometime. I wish we had more time, but it's actually 1 a.m. when we're filming this bit. So, uh, yeah, there's not really time to prepare any. No. Well, that is it for our October unboxings of the Premium Japan Crate, the Halloween Doki Doki Crate, and the Omai Crate. Yes, yeah. all of them were pretty cool in their own way. Oh, yeah. Do you have anything in particular that you really enjoyed from any of the three boxes, Brittany? Hmm. I really loved how cute the Doki Doki Crate was this month. Yes. Uh, 
theme was definitely on point. Yes. Very Halloween, and I liked the idea of like here's a bowl, and then here's a nice yeah, spoon. Yeah, everything to go kind with of went the, together. Even the funny sponges, which yeah. at first I'm kind of what sponges? <laughs> For me, there was a lot of tasty stuff in the Japan crate. It, this was a good crate. <laughs> I'll be honest. Last month's was kind of hit and miss. There was a lot of mint stuff. Yeah. Neither one of us are really mint people, but there was a lot of just straight up chocolate. <sighs> A lot of chocolate and a lot of surprises like the apple pie Kit Kat. The magic. So good. Yes. Magical Japanese Kit Kats. Can't go wrong with that. And the caramel corn. Oh, yeah. And the Omai crate is really cool too, even though we haven't had a chance to open them all up and cook them. But we hope to actually try them out at some point. But yeah. so far, the flavor profiles sound really good. And this is our first time having one of the Umai crates, so we had no idea what to expect, really. No. As uh, not quite connoisseurs, but fans of Japanese cuisine, uh, I could definitely say there's a nice variety for sure. Yeah, I Very like that nice. it's all kind of different. Pretty nice way to like get into it if you want to just sample a lot of things, because we do have some Japanese supermarkets around San Diego, and I haven't seen any of these guys. Yeah, I was about to say, I haven't seen anything like this at those markets. Yeah, so if you're wondering if, oh, it's just going to be like normal noodles. Well, maybe a little bit, but there's definitely some oddball stuff. That's for sure. Natto miso soup. You're not going to find that here. Wasabi yakisoba. Some good stuff. Some not, not as good stuff. Uh, I think you probably weren't a big fan of the habanero curry powder. My mouth is still burning. A little burning right there. Yep. And some of the candy from the uh, Japan crepe wasn't as tasty as we were hoping for. Yeah. Some of it just didn't have the right flavor. Like, I remember the grape gummy. Uh, I was, was about to say the grape soda gummy is mm. probably my least favorite. And the, the cola jelly, too, was not, not awesome <gasps> oh, either. Oh, I forgot. It was yeah. flat soda. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a tough one. But that's how it is. I mean, there's always going to be good and bad stuff in anything. And, uh, yeah, I think overall we enjoyed a lot of of what was inside yeah. all these crates. But most importantly, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite from any of these three boxes? Yeah. Or multiples? Go well, ahead and let us know. Yeah, what would you section. like to try? And yeah, if you do want to get your own Japan crate, well, you go ahead and use our affiliate link in our video description and go ahead and use our coupon code as well and save a few bucks there. Uh, the affiliate link does help us out a little bit. You get a little bit of commission off there. It's nice to help support our channels. And all that. And it also lets Japan Crate know that you guys really enjoy these unboxings. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. We are the Crane Couple. Don't forget to like and again, comment and let us know what you thought about our big triple Japan Crate unboxing dun, dun, and review dun. video. It's a big one. Thank you for sticking around to the end. Uh, we try to cover as much as we can because that's the way we are. We like to be really in-depth with this kind of stuff. Yeah. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We've got lots of other great videos for you guys. We are mostly arcades and all that, but we do have vlogs, including from three j different Japan trips over the past years. <laughs> it's pretty nice. And while you're at it, make sure you turn on the bell and make sure all notifications are on. That way you don't miss any of our uploads, all right? Also, you can go ahead and follow us on Instagram at The Crane Couple. That way you can see behind the scenes stuff, little funny photos here and there. Huge thanks to all of our patrons as well as channel members. Thank you guys so much for helping keep us full-time internet content creators. If you want to pledge your support to us, check us out at patreon.com slash crane couple, or you can also hit that big join button that you see down below and you get access to cool emojis and badges that Brittany created herself. Very nice. <laughs> anyway, see you next time.